Thrive Automator can now accept incoming webhooks. This new update is actually pretty big because what it essentially does is open up all of Thrive Suite, mostly Thrive Apprentice, to the outside, meaning that you can now enroll somebody in a course, add them to a product or your membership through essentially any tool that can use a webhook. Now, if you're wondering, well, what is a webhook? Maybe you haven't used those before. Think of a webhook as simply data sent from one service, something like ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign or just about anything to Zapier, Zapier to your website. It's just data. And that data is then sorted into the right key and value pairs. And it essentially does what you want it to do at the receiving end. So with Thrive Automator now, catching the webhook, you can send data from somewhere and enroll people in a product. So let me show you how that's done. And I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, one of my favorite segmenting tools called ConvertBox. So we're back in Thrive Automator. And in the last tutorial that I did on the channel, we went through this uh, automation right here. I'm going to go ahead and click edit on this and show you what we built. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, it's very similar to this one. We essentially added a user to the site gave them a free account, free login credentials, and then granted them access to a product, all from a form built inside of Thrive Architect. Now, what we're going to do is simply remove this step right here, this trigger, and we're going to trigger it instead from an incoming webhook. So let's start from scratch, and we're going to add new, and our trigger is going to be incoming webhook. Now with this, we're given this link right here. Uh, this is what we're going to put into our other tool, and we need to pair it with the key and we call this typically a value, a key value pair. So you can see it's like email, text, date, the type of data being sent. Now there's an easy way to have this do it for you and you can click this listen button. Now before we click the listen button, let's go get the tool that we're sending the data from set up and ready to go. So here I am now in ConvertBox. If you're not familiar with ConvertBox, it's actually my favorite tool for lead generation, gathering leads, segmenting leads, and just like this use case, sending data to another site or from tool to tool. So in this case, let's just call this our webhook course enrollment demo. This would be what you would name like a lead magnet free course or something like that. It's essentially you're going to enroll somebody for free. Now, taking a step back, you don't have to do it for free. If you are using a third party tool, like for example, I know people, I have clients in Germany who use payment providers that can send webhooks and those payment providers are supported by payment types that they can't use through something like uh, Thrivecart or Stripe. So they can send a webhook and you can enroll users in your products through that webhook. So what I'm showing you here is how I can do this for free with ConvertBox, but you can use anything that sends a webhook to do the same thing. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create our convert box here. And we'll just do like a modal, just a, a pop up and we'll just choose uh, just this basic one right here. So now let's say with this form, just jump in here and make some edits to it. We'll get rid of the uh, last name field and the phone number field. Maybe we don't want that so that we just have the first name and the email. Now what we want to do is we want to go to integrations and we want to add an integration. In this case, we're going to choose webhooks. And with our webhook, we're going to paste in that webhook URL that we just copied from Thrive Automator. Once we paste that in, we want to hit this send test button, but after we click listen back at Thrive Automator. Now back at Thrive Automator, let's click listen. We're listening and we have about a minute to send the data. Let's jump back over to ConvertBox and let's send a test. Now here we go. We don't need all this data. Instead, we're just going to keep the email and we're going to keep the first name. There we go. And we're going to, instead of text, we're just going to change this to email because that's what we want it to be. And we'll leave it like that. So let's go ahead and click done. And then we're going to click the plus button here and we're going to add an action. So someone sends their first name and their email address. We want to give them access to our course and this example lead magnet. So our free course, let's go ahead and click view all. And with this information, let's find or create a user and we wanna make them a subscriber on our site, click done. So what we've done here is we've said with this name and email, if an account on our website does not exist, make one. If it does exist, use that account, basically identified by the email address and do whatever's next. 
So in this case, we're going to add another action and we want to grant access to a product. Remember in Thrive Apprentice, courses, pages on your site, posts, post types, anything that you want is put like into a box, into a product. And that product is how you then package it up and give access to it either through a tool like this or through a Thrivecart or WooCommerce and things like that. So we're gonna grant access to a product and the product, let's just choose one of our courses and click done. Great, we can stop there. If we wanted to, we could add another action such as tag the user in our autoresponder. Maybe let's do that for a second here. Let's scroll down until we find, there it is, tag user in autoresponder. I use Fluent CRM, so I'll select Fluent CRM and then I could select my tag. So in this case, let's say that I built an automation so that the person got like a nice uh, welcome automation, a nice welcome email. And maybe I follow that up with an email every couple of days, kind of like a warm up sequence. And then from there, uh, you can kind of go from the, the warm up to the nurture, the nurture to the sale and so on. For us though, we're just gonna delete this step and we're just gonna give them access right away. And we're going to publish and click save and finish. Okay, with our automation in place here, let's make sure it's published. Now let's finish setting up ConvertBox so that we can submit a test. Okay, this part's actually pretty cool. And this just further illustrates what a webhook is capable of doing. So I added a button and I added this convert box to trigger on the button press, but take note of something. I'm currently on my main website, convology.com. Now my courses are on a subdomain and I have a post on convology where I go into why I use a subdomain, but they're on separate sites. So essentially I'm going to send a lead from my main marketing site over to my courses subdomain and register that user over there and enroll them in the course over there from this, essentially from this website, even though really it's kind of all just in the, in the cloud of convert box and hosted solutions. But, but anyway, it's on my website for all intents and purposes. And I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to fill this out and we're going to go back over and see if the user was enrolled in the course. Let's go ahead. I didn't change the button, it says schedule meeting. I do that a lot actually. This particular uh, light box is scheduled meeting. I never change the button. Let's pretend that said get your free course. Let's pretend all this said get your free course. So I'll click schedule meeting or get your free course. Great, I didn't tell the convert box to do anything. You could redirect them. What you should do is redirect them to a confirmation page that has a note that says, hey, check your email. You're going to get your login credentials. Uh, here's how you access things, et cetera. But for our testing purposes, this will do. Let's go check our email and make sure we got the login credentials. And I totally did just get the email. Uh, let me show you what email gets sent and how you can edit that. Under settings in Thrive Apprentice, now you're on your membership site where you're sending this data to, go to settings, email templates, new account created, and you can edit your email here. Uh, I keep this pretty simple. This is just the email that goes out to people who either look down here at the bottom, register and create a free account, which is what we're doing here, or purchase through Thrivecart. In this case, I just say, welcome to Convology, Convology as a whole, here's how you access your account here. And it gives them their username, which is just their email and their password. And then I tell them how to log in and that kind of thing. Because what I do is through Fluent CRM, in this case, any autoresponder that you want, that's when I also send them the big welcome packet and the nurture sequence. Now here is the user that got access. You can see here, they got access to the right course. It is a product and it was manually added by Thrive Automator, uh, and you can see when they joined. So everything worked perfectly from convert box on another website over to our membership website. The users enrolled in the course and they are now completely in our ecosystem and in our funnel. So I just want to reiterate one last time how powerful webhooks are. Webhooks can be used from form processors, payment providers, anything that sends data to Zapier, Zapier can send a webhook to Thrive Automator. You can send this from lead segmentation tools like I did in this tutorial. Essentially, now that Thrive can catch and accept incoming webhooks, essentially we're, we've been unlocked. We've been essentially set loose to connect anything we want into the system. And that's really, really cool. This is the update that I've been waiting months for, and I'm glad it's finally here. I encourage you to play around with Thrive Automator and find out what's possible and what you can do with your website now that you can take data and integrate it with Thrive, particularly Thrive Apprentice. If you do have any questions about Thrive Automator or Thrive Apprentice and this whole webhook ecosystem you're now exposed to, definitely leave a comment and let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. But that'll do it for me. I'm Doug from Convology, and I'll see you in the next one.